Nobody, yeah. nobody lives more than you do, Ginger. You're intense. <laughs> they have a word for that in Spanish. Intensa. Hi, guys. This is Play It Again. I am Ginger. And I am Mike. And, okay, so we did a Tom McDonald recently. It was really good. It was really good, and we were both surprised. And we got told off <laughs> in the comments like crazy. Mm-hmm. Because I uh, had said that the one and only Tom McDonald song I'd ever had exposure to appeared to be f- riddled with f bombs, and then we got told very, very forthrightly that that is not the norm. So sorry, guys. I legitimately had only heard like one thing from Tom McDonald, so that was my one and only impression. But mm-hmm. I am glad to hear that there is more to choose from. Stuff we can safely react to. <laughs> <laughs> on a relatively family-friendly channel. Yeah, I mean, I had somebody say, what, are you afraid of that? No, but, you know, we try to keep it nice and polite here, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just a wider audience. And don't get me wrong, I'm not afraid of F-bombs, okay? <laughs> you put a tool in my hand, and they're going flying, okay? But Sailor we is her first language. It's true. But we try not to put it on video too much, just because it's not for everybody. But anyway... We really, really enjoyed the Tom McDonald. Mm-hmm. Loved his singing voice, right? We've already said we absolutely align with his politics. Mm-hmm. So I'm relieved to hey, hear that there is more. I align become. absolutely with nobody. <laughs> Mike is a contrarian. <laughs> That's something, if you're new to this channel, you're going to have to learn. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm cute. <laughs> you are in that shirt. I can't lie. Oh, did you hear that? I did. I don't know what that was. Me neither. I guess, okay. Hopefully everybody else didn't hear that too. Well, if you did, you can all tell us what the hell that means. Ready? Scars. Scars. Let's do it. Yeah, that was recommended. I guess you don't remember who recommended Several it. Several times, actually. Oh, very good. I don't want well, to single anyone out. It sounds like something that I can definitely relate to. Ready? Yeah, do it. I don't remember how I got all these scars, but I know I lived a hell of a life. Sounds like you, Ginger. I can't remember how I made it this far, but I know it was a hell of a fight. Could have been some bones in a coffin stone, drinking vodka locked up with the bros, causing problems broke at the bottom. You know that I got a lot of marks under these clothes, should have killed me somehow, I survived. Struggles ain't beneath me, and these tattoos ain't for nothing. This is physical graffiti. 
graffiti Every broken bone, all the sticks and stones And the moments when I felt so alone Every single tear and like a million beers That I only drank so I could try to cope Every bloody nose and all the muddy clothes When I was in the dirt, down inside a hole Every single scuff and every single scab Made me who I am These tattoos Amen. I do relate to that song. That's totally you. Like more than some people would realize. <laughs> I mean, from homeless beggar to abusive marriage, not you, not, not him. This guy, bro. And then to oh, mom, and then you, and then a million things in between. Mm -hmm. And now Costa Rican farmer. That'll put scars on you. <laughs> Yeah, but the scars I get now are far more enjoyable than the ones I used to get. Mm -hmm. So it's worth it. But yeah, it's um, it's a hell of a journey. Uh, so many things are right about the lyrics of that, right? Like it, I do kind of wear mine sort of like pride because not pride that I got them, but pride that I survived them. Well, and pride that you you live, mm -hmm. like like truly live. Nobody yeah. nobody lives more than you do, Ginger. You're intense. <laughs> <laughs> they have a word for that in Spanish. Intensa. Indeed, and it's, you're not the only person who's used that for me <laughs> since we moved here. <laughs> it's true. Well, you know what? You don't go through the shit that I've been through. And, I mean, there's two ways you can go. You give up and you don't live anymore at all. Or you just live so intensely because why did I go through all that if I'm not gonna? Right. Right? So I chose that way because it's what made it all worth it. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't want to go through it all again. That would be <laughs> not terrible, no. uh, not moving awesome. Moving forward, but. moving on, getting better. Yes, but, okay, so I love his singing voice. Mm -hmm. I'm still always surprised by how lovely his singing voice is just because I'm used to the rap parts, but uh, I do love that. I'm really glad that he does a bunch of that stuff because, mm -hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong, I can handle rap, but it's not really my thing. Not so much. Not right. unless there's like a really angry guitar in the background, like like Rage Against the Machine. I really liked his shirt. I didn't even notice his shirt. It was corn. Ah. I, that's one thing I'm sad about is giving up all my concert shirts. When we moved to Costa Rica, I, I gave them all away. <laughs> now I wish I had kept them. But uh, yeah, it was very cool. It was funny that he had a plane crash in the background because I've always identified more with train wreck. But you know, <laughs> that's just me. <laughs> Anyway, for those of you who suggested that, thank you. It Indeed. was definitely worth a return. And for I sure. would still like to hear more Tom McDonald and maybe some of the politics stuff next. Mm. Right? That one was pretty personal. That was, yeah, that was highly personal. Yeah. All right. And in the meantime, you just play that again? 